Welcome back at Trailblazing. I'm experienced there at um, the shipping um, or maritime services in the country. Uh, while the fintech ecosystem provides a full array of financial services, uptake of digital financial services, notably mobile money, is still lower than in pair countries due to preference for cash operations as well as cost and trust issues. My guest, Ninka Awosonya, is currently the research lead of Interpoint, the data and research arm of Tech Premier Media, publishers of TechPoint Africa. Over the last three years, he has overseen the release of 15 reports and counting. Well, many thanks for joining me, Ninka, on Business Insights and Plus TV Africa. Thanks, Jason, for having me. Yeah, it is a pleasure to have you. Yeah. All right, so let's just um, dive into it. First of all, it is really alarming to note that um, as um, the was in this 21st century, it is uh, uh, so, so, so funny to see that Nigerians still don't have bank account and some of them are still on bank tab. In your opinion, why do you really think that is? Although some people have said it's education, but I want to believe that even people in the village have some level of education. Yes. Um, yeah, there is a part of education, but not really education in the sense that they did not attend uh, um, a formal education. Okay. Education in the sense that they don't know why should I own a bank account or why should I be in the banking system, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Why do they need it? Mm -hmm. They don't. That education, the education, that part of the education is really the key. Not that. Yeah, we have people that are those. Uh, primary school staff orders or second school that have bank accounts mm. and to realize uh, this uh, so we can say they are educated and people with no, no uh, formal education with bank accounts mm -hmm. so it's not really education but education in the sense that yes um people don't know what to do how do i go about opening the bank accounts just mm. like that so that's really uh, one of the okay so who should actually uh, who should the book fall on or rest on right now as in in terms of not um, having knowledge uh, maybe at the hinterlands or even some um, areas in the cities because one would have thought that um uh, there are so much ways that um, communication can be done about banking and all that because we hear about uh, banking services uh on radio, on television, even uh, on newspaper print and magazines, and even um, from pair to pair, most people talk about banking. So, how is it that we're still low at that level? Okay, so this is it. So, um, a state, I mean, a state like Lagos State, mm -hmm. over a thousand uh, uh, commercial bank branches, for instance, mm -hmm. and then you go to somewhere like Taraba, they only have twenty commercial bank branches. Mm -hmm. 20 and then for some people uh they believe that they have to go to a bank account i mean a commercial bank to open uh, an account true whereas so you have uh, agency banking guys that allow you to open bank account. yes they uh there are limitations mm. on what you can do with this kind of account yes but then there are those that allow you to open mm. A bank account mm. but then there is the fact that yes most people don't know that yes you can actually open a bank account okay uh, the, the report I released uh, uh, a couple of months ago. So one of the reasons why people say they don't have a bank account is because they don't know that you can actually open a bank account with these guys. Mm. You mean with... Um, with uh, 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 POS mm. guys. Okay. They don't know that you ca they can help you to open a bank account. Mm -hmm. And then, so there is the POS guys. They also have the uh, uh, payment service bank, the PSBs, mm -hmm. uh, which about four or there about of them are already licensed or you know. They don't know that they can open bank account with these guys. Okay. So at the end of the day, box it for down to education, educating people that yes, mm. you can walk up to these guys and get them to open an account for you. Okay. So uh, it's been over almost um, over ten years since uh, the, the central bank started its um, financial yes, inclusion yes. drive that since twenty twelve and all that. And in that time, one would say that um, the influx of um, fintechs and uh, you know. Uh, agency banking, you know, has actually increased since the pandemic and all of that. But how how would, how much uh, how would you rate uh, the performance level as regards some um, the fintech uh, you know penetration in the country? Because some people believe um they are seemingly taking the place of um the average commercial banks. Yes, um, one the fintech guys are really doing a tremendous job. And yes, some of them are doing what the commercial banks are doing. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, uh, banking the people that are already banked. Yes. 
not banking, those that are unbanked. Mm. Um, yes, they've done that. So, uh, but one way that I think they, I believe that they've done tremendous work is in yes, uh, financial inclusion goes beyond just having a bank account. Mm -hmm. So right now, uh, um, from your phone, you can invest in stocks. Mm -hmm. Traded on the Nigerian Stock Exchange or New York Stock Exchange, or even insurance, phone. or even insurance, credits, buying insurance like from your phone, mm -hmm. and these guys are making that that possible. Okay, which uh, uh, say ten years or more, mm -hmm. it's not possible. So, uh, uh, say you want to buy uh, ch shares back there, you have to go to the bank or go to a, a stock broker to do that. But now I can do that from the computer. Yes, these guys are doing that. There is this fire, yes, most of them are just basically um, banking the people that are in the banking system. Mm -hmm. And you have guys like, yes, they are doing digital payment, but then you are still, say, your, sis, your, your, your major market is still mm. places like Lagos, mm -hmm. Abuja. The like major like, cities. The major cities. So why are they not going to the hinterlands? Okay, yeah, so um, it might not make business sense for them. Okay, bis okay, uh, I mean, that's of, not is that not the objective in the first instance to actually bank the unbank? Yes, the objective is to bank the unbank. But if I am going to, uh, as a business person, I'm going to invest in uh, having a branch or having staffs in, in the interland, so I have, to be sh I have to be sure that yes, the revenue or the uh, um, the what I'm getting from there will be enough to cater for this. But do they seriously need to have physical branches at those locations before they can operate? Oh, uh, the very largest thing you need people in this. Um, I will, so I can buy something on my phone mm -hmm. without having to talk to the person. Yeah, you can do uh, business to business. I can do business to, on my phone. To pair, yeah. That's because. The very large says, I know that um, the chance of me being cheated, yes, there is a chance that I could get uh, duped online. Mm. But because I know that, yes, the chances are lower for me because uh, of what I know. But the guys in Italy like, doesn't. They need to see you physical for you to transact with you. So, um, how do, yes, these guys, they get money, they send money to their uh, children in school and so on. How do they do this? They do use those banking agents. Mm. You want to send money, so I want to send money to people in the village now. They go to an agent, mm -hmm. get the agent's account, they send it to the person sending the money, they send it to you. They collect the money because mm. the agent is someone they know, yeah. someone they live in the same neighborhood. So is it is it is it a, a trust issue yeah, or, it's or what trust exactly issue. is it's it? Trust issue. Okay, because uh, why would they rather want to send through an agent than even get an account in their own name so they can actually uh, use it beyond their vicinity even when they need to make some travels or you know trips or something? Yeah. Okay, so there's a trust part and there's also the part that okay, yes, uh, I get an account and then I get charges. Mm. Okay on authorized deductions. Mm. So, um, one of the reasons why this guy said they don't own back account is charges, bank charges, uh, a lot of documentation mm. to open a bank account. And the people that have bank accounts and mm. mobile money, their major edit is bank charges. All right, you know, we'll take a break and we'll come back because I believe that uh, most of um, these uh, microfinance, even uh, mobile um, operators, uh, they operate, uh, you know, account openings. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be there, you know, to or even documentation. You just need uh, maybe your uh, BVN. Okay, BVN, you need to get a bank uh, yeah, account or maybe national identity number or something. But we'll talk more about that. It's still Business Insight on Plus TV Africa. We're looking at financial inclusion. We're looking at how to mitigate against uh, this uh, gap that uh, uh, has presented in terms of um, banking uh, the hinterlands. In a moment, we'll be right back to talk more with our guest to join us again. Uh, welcome back. It's Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. My guest is uh, uh, Yink, uh, I was saying I've been looking at uh, the central bank uh, financial drive and of course how to reach the unbanked uh, in Nigeria. Thanks for staying with us, uh, Yinka. So just before we took the break, we we're talking about um, how these people who are scared of uh, this um, cost implication can actually go through these agencies or even from their own phones, you know, more like paired to business and actually get these accounts by themselves and uh, even those guys they don't even ch charge most times for transfers you know and some of these uh, services that they provide yeah. so how come we're not really making the most of all of these advantages as it were 
Okay, yes, uh, they can do that on their mobile phone. Mm. But so let's, uh, from the reports, so majority of people that don't have bank account or mobile mm. money, they they don't they either don't have a phone. Oh wow, that's or a issue. they use a fisher phone. Okay, or those uh, small touchlight phone. Okay, or the smart fisher phone, which is uh, just a little bit ugly. Okay, so so <laughs> that's another works. issue. Okay, fine. Okay, let's look at another angle, the uh, uh, fintech operations in Nigeria. Fine, we are doing well as it is, but when, it's, uh, when we compare to uh, other countries of the world, uh, we're seemingly still uh, scratching the surface. What do we need to do to uh, actually make um, it more like a hub here in Africa? Okay, so uh, we'll be, yes, um, the CBN is already doing uh, some stuff in that aspect. So there's the PSB license which was a couple of a couple of years ago. But the only issue I think I have with that is that so uh, the provision which I think makes business sense, which is why they did this, uh, they have to have a, at least not less than twenty five percent of their touch points mm -hmm. in rural areas. Mm -hmm. So why not to be the other way around and make it seventy five percent, not less than seventy five percent because the rural area. in rural because this is where these guys really need the services, mm -hmm. not in the urban area. Um if I walk out of my streets, about four or five uh, uh, POS agents, mm -hmm. I'll sit up. Then about two streets away, there are about like four or five commercial banks on mm -hmm. my stretch alone. But go to these places, before they get to a commercial bank, you are taking a distance. But if you have, say, a PSB in these areas, close to, closer to these people, and they can walk into this place, get a bank account, do transactions and stuff like that. I believe we we'll really go beyond scratching the surface, and then when we bring them into the uh, mm. uh, uh, banking system, then we can then give offer them more services, insurance, investments, uh, 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 and what have you. Okay, let's talk about some some of the highlights um, from your report. Uh, you talked about uh, penetration of financial facilities, and uh, you said, for instance, Lagos accounts for twenty nine percent and 21% of commercial bank branches and um, agency banking network in the country, respectively. So why are we not really seeing uh, a much uh, deeper penetration? Okay, business sense. So mm. uh, if I'm in Lagos, the chances of me getting more business mm. is slightly higher than if I go to a remote area. Okay. So it might not make business sense for these guys to really, okay, yes, let's, so which might be a case of CBA giving these guys incentive to really go to this rural area because people in the city hardly anyone in Lagos except if the person doesn't need a bank account. I mm. walk to a someone that doesn't own a bank account in somewhere like Lagos, Abuja. But go to other places, it's not the case. So if you do that and um, we like there are incentive for these guys to go to this rural area and provide service for these people. Mm bring them into the banking system and then give them other services mm. other financial services because uh financial culture goes beyond just owning the bank account all right so uh, tell us more about other major highlights or high points from the report that um, you released um yes so another key uh, um thing is a retirement service mm. which is also another big issue okay so um as as of 2021, there are about 60 million Nigerians, uh, 60 million employed Nigerians, but only 10 million, only about 10 million have a retirement savings account. Okay. Why is that? What's the issue? Is there awareness again or what? Okay, so... Or um, that um, they are not... I, I, I thought it was actually a law for you to be in employment and you should have uh, an the, RSA. RSA. Mm. So, the, yeah, so there are those in the formal employment and there are those in the informal, informal employment. Mm. And uh, so there is this um, micro... Is a uh, micro uh, pension plan okay. for those in the informal sector, sector, so that you don't have to be uh, 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 an employee of someone. Um, so you are any income yourself, you are your mm. own uh, uh, um, you CEO. Own business, yeah. own business, you, can do, you can do that, and then I've been seeing a lot of uh, uh, ads asking people to come and do it. So it just be a case of doing more of that, and not just having uh, banners everywhere. Going to talk to these people. Yes, you can do this. You can do that. Mm. So that way, we can really. Uh, um, Make more people because 
10 million to 60 million that's that's a, that's that, a, that, that's that's a, a wide big, gap a wide gap and even from the 10 million uh, so um three mm. in every 10 of those guys are female mm. oh wow yes okay so if you put 10 people together with retirement service mm. three of them all right, we you can, I would have to talk about that particular aspect um, on another edition of the show. You know, uh, there's so many that. hands in the air. My director is actually chasing me away <laughs> from the studio as well. We must say a very big thank you to you for joining us on the show for today. We do appreciate thank your you time, Yinka. I also is the research lead at um, Intel Point, and that's the size of the show for today. I am Justin, Academia Business Insight. Returns again next time at the same time on your screen. Bye for now.